And joining us live in studio now is Tom Gross, who is a British uh, political analyst. Thank you for joining us. And uh, a shame that it has to be on this note, as we just a few months ago celebrated the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We know she has gone through a lot in her public and personal life. What does this mean for the significance of the British monarchy moving forward? Well, yes, it is both mourning of an individual who's been with the British and indeed a lot much of the world throughout all our lives. I mean, she's the second uh, longest reigning monarch in history after Louis XIV of France, but he reigned for 72 years and he came to the throne as a child. She already came as a 25-year-old and was already known before as a princess. So pretty much, unless you're 100 years old, you've known her all your life, which is pretty much everything. It's incredible to think about. You look at her, she met with 13 U.S. presidents, starting yeah. with Eisenhower. Yeah. I mean, that kind of gives a symbol, like when TV was still black and white. Exactly. I, I don't think there's anyone else on the planet who met with so many significant people because it's over such a long time. You know, John F. Kennedy, Winston Churchill, also a lot of celebrities and, uh, and cultural figures, not just political leaders. During her reign, I think, yes, there were 14 U.S. presidents, uh, seven popes during her reign. Only two days ago, she was still working on Tuesday when she appointed the new British Prime Minister. Minister Liz Truss, and they released a photo of uh, her shaking hands with the new Prime Minister Truss, and the, the Queen was seemed quite well and smiling and beaming. So even though it's not a surprise that she's passed away, uh, given her age, it is a surprise because she seemed quite well. Right, like the timing of it. People have been like ago. making claims about her health for years. I mean, interesting timing. Now there's another female yeah, British yeah. Prime Minister, um, also, um, also, her, called also, uh, also called Liz. Both Called also, call, yeah, exactly, yeah. and also um, let's talk about Prince Harry. I mean, Prince Harry was visiting with his wife Meghan Markle last yeah. week. Anyway, yeah. she stayed back. He went to Scotland. Just yeah. interesting timing well, of how this that's happened. That's right. I mean, so all the royal family, all the immediate members of the royal family, flew to Balmoral Castle in Scotland to be near the Queen's bedside. Um, it was clear she was on her last hours yesterday. And Prince Harry, who happened to be in the UK, although of course now he lives in California, in a kind of self imposed exile with his wife Meghan uh, because he happened to, in the, it happened to be in the UK he also came though interestingly there was briefly a statement saying that both the uh, Duke and Duchess Meghan and Harry were on their way to Scotland but in the end only Harry was there. Which I'm sure not a surprise yes. we're seeing live images right now outside of uh, Balmoral I mean obviously you know there's a I, you know, a lot to yeah. grieve. I think Meghan, since you asked about her, is a controversial figure now in Britain. In fact, one of the things that she told, which people point out isn't the truth in her infamous uh, interview with Oprah Winfrey a few months ago, is she said her children would not become prince, uh, prince and princess when uh, Charles became king. And it's usual that the grandchildren of a king are known as a prince and princess. And in fact, it's confirmed this morning that they are known as prince and princess. So so it was not correct of Meghan to make that claim to Oprah Winfrey. And, you know, I think that will come together. I'm sure Harry and Meghan will be at the funeral. The family want to come together with the nation. But, you know, she's not the most popular person right. for understandable reasons, in my view. Right. Um, might I just add, what is the, why is the monarchy so important in the UK? They have monarchs in, still in some other European countries like uh, Norway and uh, Spain and Holland. And, you know, in Holland, the Queen of Holland just sort of uh, takes a bicycle by herself in Amsterdam and no one seems mm -hmm. to care. In Britain, why is the entire world, even Vladimir Putin has sent uh, condolences uh, to, the, to the British, uh, why is it so important? In a way, it, you know, one of the reasons Britain is the so-called mother of democracy and never had a revolution and never had communism or fascism is because this unique role of the British monarchy in lending political stability as head of state. So even though I personally am against the idea mm -hmm. of monarch. We have to go to a commercial, but thank you so much. Very, very interesting conversation. Thank you.